Are you, sorry, I just got a call. Are you walking a straight path or a meandering path? So we know the fastest way between two points is point A, a straight line between point A and point B. But today we're gonna to talk about um, how we can get on that straight path. And so we can get to the point where God wants us faster than slower. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, my name is Heidi Cole. Each morning I read a short daily devotional to encourage you in God's truth and his word. My heart is truly for that busy mom, busy woman, who doesn't have time each day to turn her focal point back to God. I've been there. So sorry I have been gone a few days. Um, we had a hurricane come through and life has been a little crazy since the hurricane, but um, I am back today and let's get into our devotionals. Hey Cammie, how are you? Good to see you. And I hope that you had a good time and got through safely through the hurricane. Walk with me along paths of trust, the most direct route between point A and point B on your life journey is the path unwavering is a path of unwavering trust in me. When your faith falters, you choose a trail that meanders and takes you well out of your way. You will get to point B eventually, but you will have lost previous precious time and energy. As soon as you realize you have wandered from your trust path, look to me and whisper, I trust you, Jesus. This affirmation will help you get back on track. The farther you roam along paths of unbelief, the harder it is to remember that I am with you. Anxious thoughts branch off in all directions, taking you farther and farther from awareness of my presence. You need a voice to you need to voice your trust in me frequently. This simple act of faith will keep you walking along straight paths with me. Trust in me with all your heart and I will make your path straight. Isaiah 26 verse 4, trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. And Psalm 9 verse 10, those who know my name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. And Psalms 25 verses 4 through 5, show me your paths, Lord, teach me your, show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. Guide me in the truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. And Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Or he will make your paths straight is another um, interpretation of it. So are you walking a straight path or are you meandering? And, um, you know, when we, when we are unwavering, when we have an unwavering trust in God, that's the most direct route. Like we know, you know, we've learned in math many years ago when I was in high school, the shortest point between point A and point B is a straight path. But the only way to go that take that straight path it, in, in our life is to have unwavering trust in God. Otherwise, we're going to tend to meander along. I tend to meander along, and I'm not, I'm not on a straight path, and I wish I was, but um, I think most of us probably do the same thing, but it says here, as soon as you realize you're on, you have wandered from your path, look to me and whisper, trust I trust you, Jesus. So we don't want to wander. We don't want to meander. We want to stay on that path of belief and not unbelief. And, you know, we tend to get a lot of anxiety because things are not, you know, our direction is all over the place. And it's taking us away from, um, and we're getting further away from God and his presence. So voice your trust in God often, and I feel like that's something that I need to post around and say, I trust you, Jesus, so that I'm seeing it daily to remember when I get off track to um, trust him. And 
This simple act is going to keep you on a straight path. And I love at the end here where it says, trust in God with all your heart and he will make your path straight. So just by saying, I trust you, Jesus, is going to help us daily stay on that path to stay straight. So we will get to where God wants us to be sooner. So I hope that you have found value in this. And if you have, then share it with someone you know. And if there's anything I can pray for you, please DM me. I'd love to pray for you. Thanks. Have a blessed day.